Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at over 7 features on the new update of the Android 10 One UI uh, 2.0 on your Samsung Galaxy S10 or the S10 Plus that improve, um, uh, improve the reachability while using your phone and reduce on the distractions uh, while you are using your phone so while there are a lot of improvements on the new update I just want to discuss with you some of the improvement that I think helps you uh, to reduce distraction and how you can easily using your phone so let's uh, first begin with these um, features so I'm going to um, open up a folder so I'm just going to open up a folder here so we can take a notice here when I open up the two folders Samsung folder you can see this folder on the old version so this is the old version and this is the latest Android 10 One UI 2 you can see when I open up the folder uh, the folder on the new version is the icon is larger and all the items now move down to the bottom so try to move down to the bottom and here uh, all the icons and the folders tends to stay in the middle of the screen or towards the top and that just kind of make it harder for you to reach over here it's easier to reach the icons uh, it's easier to tap on it if you need to you can see if I swipe down I can do a lot of things with one hand instead of this one here I can't really reach the item I have to move up a little bit so that is one of the improvements uh, is the, uh, the placement of icons in folders is now closer to the bottom of the screen okay the next handy feature is the mini pop-up whenever someone calls you an alert will appear at the top of the screen you can move it around if you want and uh, if you uh, like you can also deny the call and this pop-up can be moved around while it will not disturb what you are currently doing and then we go back here I'm just going to go back into settings it's David and now it's not going to expand out anymore so that's good uh, it's automatically pick up the call as you can see now we can move this uh, mini pop-up around the screen and until you tap on the expand button it will not expand so now that I tap on it it will expand so to get to the settings I'll open up the phone app tap on the menu icon tap on settings in settings tap on call display while using apps and here we've got full screen pop-up and mini pop-up so you can choose mini pop-up or simply pop-up and that is one of the change okay and the next one is the camera the camera is now less clutter so whenever you launch camera you notice that so here when, when we go into here there's not a lot of options you can see there's only live focus mode live focus you got photo video and then just a more button if you want more items then you can go in here and look at the items you can use it you can tap on food to use the food mode you can see there's food mode only now if you want to go back if you want to include any of the items in here tap on more you can tap and hold and then drag it down and that new mod is now added so tap on save and now you got food in the camera mod and that's it so that is the camera improvement and if you go to videos there is also a new uh, doodles so in here you can try to tap everywhere and you can st um, start drawings so you have 3D uh, drawings on the screen and then you can kind of like uh, follow it so that is another new features in the camera also with alarm you can now manually increase or decrease uh, the snooze time so let's see the alarm soon pops up so it pops up in a second right now so you can see here I can increase manually increase or decrease the snooze time at the moment it is 65 minutes I can tap on uh, snooze in 50 minutes and then change it so you can tap on the minus or the plus and tap on snooze now with uh, the text messaging app you can now easily insert image and videos uh, right next to the text field you can see you can tap on the arrow and here you can tap on the image to open up the image gallery now it said that you need to add in a recipient so we're just going to uh, go to the top so if you try to tap on the plus icon it will say you need to add a recipient and then down here so tap on photos so we can choose uh, our photos that all these are displayed down here or you can tap on gallery to view more you can tap on the plus icon to attach other things as well such as images video subject uh, contacts audios and so on you can also tap on camera 
then tapping on the cameras will you can tap on take pictures and that will expand out the camera in full screen you can also switch between the front and the back so take your photos and then you can tap on OK and that now is attached to that and I just want to tap on back so that is uh, text messages okay now with prompts is now displayed down near the bottom of the screen instead of in the middle of the screen and here you can see if I uh, open this prompts is now in the center and then with a new version prompt is at the bottom of the screen and as for navigation bar now you don't have to use navigation buttons anymore you can use gestures to control the navigation bar so if I go into settings and we go into displayed so I'm just going to find displayed and navigation bar and then choose full screen gestures I'm going to tap on more options now you could choose between swipe from bottom or swipe from sides and bottoms so that will also if you choose this option here that will also remove that two buttons over here and that means you only have one button at the center to swipe up if you want to open reason up just swipe up and hold and here you can see you have um, uh, you can uh, access uh, apps from the recent screen you can swipe back by swiping in on the side so on either side you can swipe in like that to go back another great feature to help you reduce distraction is the focus mode so if you swipe down and this will open up quick settings and in here you can see there is a focus mode so if I tap on that to turn off so now focus mode is off and I can tap on focus mode and that will switch on when I switch on I can choose work time, me time or a mod that I create myself. If you choose work time and I tap on the start button, you can see all the apps will be become disabled. So a lot of the apps will become disabled. Only several important apps will stay active, such as the clock app, the text messages and phone call. All other apps you can see it's just um, get disabled or gray out. Even the widgets get gray out as well. And if I go up and I go into the app screen, you can see most of the apps has been uh, gray out. And to go into that settings, you can uh, swipe down, tap on the settings icon. Then, so I'm just going to find where it is. So it's in here, digital well-being and parental controls. Then go down and go to focus mode. And at the moment it is switched on. So I'm just going to end focus mode. And I'm going to go back. And here you see I got a test mod. This is the one that I created, so I can delete that mod and tap on OK. And then you can create your own mod. So why would you want to create your own mod? Because when you create your own mod, you can actually menu, manually add in the apps that you want to use. For example, I want to enable camera. Then I tap on done. I'm going to go back down here. I'm going to turn on focus mode. And this time I'm going to choose test and then tap on start. And you can see now the camera app will become active because I have allowed the camera to stay active during focus mode. And that's it. So, so now the feature is during the uh, search of a keyword in your internet browser. So in internet browser, when you want to do a search of a, of a, uh, a key text, so for keyword, so I'm just going to tap on find, find on page. And let's say games, I want to search for the keyword games. And you can see here there are 29 uh, keywords that's come up. But I can easily navigate to the next uh, keyword by using the up and down buttons over here. So I can tap on that button to go up and down. So it used to be up at the top here, you need to tap on the top and the button is really small. Now the button is really large and it's down at the bottom here. You can quickly move to the next or the previous keywords. So that is also another improvement. Now there are a lot of other improvements, but I think this are the other one that I have shown you just now are the one are the most helpful that improve the reachability on your phone, and it helps to the to um, reduce the distraction uh, while you are using the phone. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.